All right, Doc, so I get this one a lot. When do I need to come see you? I've had an injury, something happened, swelling, pain, whatever, and you know maybe I've lived with it a while. Like, What's the right time to come in and see SMASA? You know, that's an easier question answered for kids. And for kids, I'm gonna say college age and younger, because the general rule is if stuff has lasted uh, two weeks or longer, especially with, uh, with, uh, with the spine, something's going on, something bad could be happening, they should heal. Uh, uh, adults, it's much more, much more nebulous. I mean, um, as uh, we were joking earlier, you know, if someone told me it hurt me to play golf, my back, well, so does mine. Yeah. Uh, but um, adults, I think, uh, I think a good rule of thumb is is persistent, not going away. I could see waiting a few weeks. You know, whether three weeks is appropriate or six weeks is appropriate is a little bit of a guess. Obviously, I tell everybody, if no matter what it is, injury or not. If it's affecting your life or you're really struggling to get dressed, uh, to cook, to feed yourself, you're really changing what you do because you don't want to leave because your spine or your knee hurts, um, you know, it's probably a good time to come in. Definitely if you've been treating it and you've failed, uh, failed different things, medicines and ice and heat and massage, yeah. that's a good time. Well, just like you said, you know, kids versus adults, for me it's going to be surgical. Uh, patients who have already had surgery or patients who haven't had surgery. So if you have never had surgery before and you've got new onset pain, if you've got you know a major injury, if you felt a pop, immediate swelling, difficulty weight bearing, um, you can't go to work, you can't sleep, it affects your, we always say ADLs, but activities of daily living. So anything that impairs your daily activities, that's a time to be seen pretty quickly. Um, if you've got nagging injuries that have just been going on, coming and going, and you've been trying the easy things at home, rest, ice, anti-inflammatories, and it keeps coming back, come get seen. There's no reason to live with that and not get an opinion on what's going on. Cause there might be something we can do to help those things. But if you're surgical, and I tell my patients all the time, I've only got one major rule. For the love of God, please don't fall. Falls are the enemy of implants because you can damage a ligament, a muscle, a tendon. You can fracture something. You can damage things that we've put back together. Um, if you if you can't weight bear, you need to be seen right away. If it doesn't feel right, please be seen right away. There's no reason to sit at home after you've had a major injury you know and not be seen. And I would add nerve pain to that. Nerve pain, Tingling, yeah. numbness, shooting pain is probably For another sure. thing. For sure. Don't let it drag out too long. So No, and if it's emergent, certainly go to the hospital. We're not saying, you know, oh, what? sit at home. It happened on a Friday. Sit at home all the way through the weekend. That's what the ERs are there for. And for the most part, as long as you let them know that we're treating you or we've seen you, they're going to call me anyway. All the hospitals have my cell phone. Believe me, I get blown up whether I'm on call or not. It doesn't bother me at all. I would much rather find out right when it happened than a week later and you've been living at home with an injury. It's not worth it.